video. Watch the video completely. Today I will discuss about educational implications of Jerome Bruner's theory of learning or the theory of cognitive development. Bruner, 1966, was concerned with how knowledge is represented and organized through different modes of thinking, or representation. In his research on the cognitive development of children, Jerome Bruner proposed three modes of representation. An active representation. Action-based. Iconic representation. Image-based. Symbolic representation. Language-based. Bruner's constructivist theory suggests it is effective when faced with new material to follow a progression from inactive to iconic to symbolic representation. This holds true even for adult learners. Bruner's work also suggests that a learner even of a very young age is capable of learning any material so long as the instruction is organized appropriately. In sharp contrast to the beliefs of Piaget and other stage theorists. Bruner's three modes of representation are the way in which information or knowledge are stored and encoded in memory. Rather than neat age-related stages, like Piaget, the modes of representation are integrated and only loosely sequential as they translate into each other. Educational implications of Bruner's theory. 1. The aim of education should be to create autonomous learner. 2. A learner can learn at young. If the instruction is organized appropriately. 3. Thinking should be based entirely on physical action. That is by, learning by doing. 4. While learning new subjects. It is helpful to have diagrams or illustrations along with verbal information. 5. It shows the importance of language to deal with abstract concept. 6. Education should also develop symbolic thinking in addition to imparting knowledge. 7. Students should construct their own knowledge. 8. Teachers should be to facilitate learning rather than providing information and rote learning. 9. Different subjects should be taught at an appropriate cognitive stage of maturity. 10. Curriculum should be arranged in a spiral manner. Or in order of increasing difficulty. Thanks for watching.